everyone, how are you going? It's Joan Derrick back with you to cruise away once more here on Gecko. And we're here every day at 10 a.m. and 1 and 4 p.m. in the afternoons with lots of holiday ideas. Now, this time we're living the high life. Yes, we are. We're taking luxury cruise adventures where just that little bit more is included. And that little bit more is a little bit of an understatement as why as well, because this show is all about taking you on incredible immersive trips around the world where you can enjoy the very finest service, surroundings, amenities, and the chance to really get to know the destinations you're seeing in greater detail. We are talking the best of the best. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, later, we have a two-week Kimberley Coast Discovery Cruise with Seabourne in June, where the cruise becomes an expedition with so much lavished upon you for the journey. Now, we're also taking you over to Europe in October with Celebrity Cruises, where you can cruise in style on one of the smartest design-led cruise ships in the world, cruising in style as well as enjoying city breaks in both ancient Athens and bustling Barcelona. But first, let's immerse in the wonderful world of cruising with Azamara, where spacious, comfortable luxury gives you more the feel of a private charter than yes. cruising with the many, where every whim is catered for and included in your trip. Now, we're heading to Japan at the most magical time of the year, the Sakura season, cherry blossom time <sighs> next March. Now, we'll start our 19-night trip on the 21st of March next year, flying from Sydney to Osaka in Japan. Now, we'll enjoy two nights here in a hotel, and I would suggest that you make sure you try and visit Osaka Castle, one of the many places perfect to enjoy the blooms and yes. as you go through this trip as well you're kind of following the journey of the blooms as they come and there are lots of wonderful festivals celebrating that at this time of the year it really is i mean it is the sweet spot of the year to, to be here really isn't it oh it absolutely is now after we've enjoyed osaka it's time for us to get cruising and of course we're headed on board the fabulous azamara pursuit ah this is going to be incredible incredible 14 nights so two full weeks and we're actually going to start with an overnight in osaka so you've got that extra little night to enjoy this bustling commercial center on the japanese island of honshu um, now i mean when you cruise azamara it is a completely different experience altogether and i think you said it best derek when you said you know you are uh, voyaging with a few not cruising with the many when you're on azamara because it is very much boutique cruising and it a lot more is included as well. So you have your, your always your gratuities are included in the fare. You have your drinks included. You have port shuttles as well, a concierge service. Uh, there's a much smaller ratio of, um, you know, passengers to crew, crew to passengers. So you do really get that personal service. You know, whether it's enjoying, you know, a fruit kebab being bought to you when you're sitting at the pool and drinks when they bring, they bring them around to you and things like that. Um, or that, you know, the bottled water in the gym, it's all ready for you you know it's these thoughtful touches that that make you realize when you're on board that you are on a completely different level of vessel there's tons more space to enjoy it's not about the bright lights and the glitz and glamour it is about low-key luxury plush spaces um, thoughtful touches you know beautiful artwork lovely books to read and, and lots of enrichment activities and lectures as well for you to enjoy when you're on board it's also about never waiting Never waiting. Never thinking, there's no lounger for me. There'll always be a lounger for you. Yes. Not about standing in a long line at the restaurant waiting to be seated. It is about having plenty of time and space because this that's what luxury really is. Effortless luxury. It's about having everything the way you want it, when you want it. This is going to be an incredible, incredible cruise. Yes, let's see where we're off to. We've got Takamatsu first, where you can enjoy the Ritsurin Garden. And of course, at this time of year, you have a chance of seeing the most beautiful blossoms everywhere you turn with those petals raining from the sky, it seems. Then we're on to Hiroshima, where you can visit the iconic um, atomic bomb dome, of course, the Peace Memorial Park. So lots of history to explore here. And lovely shrines as well await you. You are in Japan after all. You're going to be taking 
taking pictures around every turn. Then we are on to Kitakushu. And this is the northernmost city of Japan's Kyushu Island. And the castle here is surrounded by an, a beautiful park. And again, think those cherry blossoms, they're going to be incredible. Space World there for you to enjoy as well. Then it's Nagasati, Nagasaki. They call this San Francisco of Japan. You've got verdant hills, you've got a deep water bay, you have uh, the Shimbara Castle and a lovely local village to explore and just to learn a little bit more about how the locals live. Busan, South Korea is up next. This is a gateway to a fascinating land and really an amalgam here of old uh, meets new. So some tours to enjoy include the Busan Past and Present Tour and the Cultural Village and Markets Tour. Then uh, we're on to Sakaminato and this is where you can visit again those shrines that are iconic when we think of Japan aren't they? Uh, surrounded by the beautiful gardens, the well manicured gardens, the bonsais, the cherry blossoms. I mean it's going to be spectacular. Next up it's uh, Kanzawa and this is the capital of the Ishikawa prefecture on Honshu Island. And it's known for its well-preserved um, Edo era districts. You've got art museums there, regional handicrafts to, to shop for. Uh, next up, it's Niigata. And this is known for, it, it, of course, the beautiful gardens that await you everywhere you go in Japan. But also you've got some great museums. If you like learning a little bit about the history of this part of the world, then do explore them. Akita's up next, and this is known for its samurai district. I think that sounds really interesting to go and learn about the samurai swords for sure and there's also a sake brewery tour you can do there if you love to imbibe in a little wee touch of sake while you're there amori now this is the one so many people cruise during cherry blossom season to see it's kind of the hub of the cherry blossom festivals and you're going to see lots of that going on at this time of the year so it's going to be really bustling and exciting then we have an overnight on board in yokohama which is the port for tokyo plus another two nights in a tokyo hotel of course you've got to enjoy the capital whilst you're there um, I mean my goodness so many tours to enjoy but also just walking from district to district and exploring Tokyo is what it's all about you're going to want to ride the bullet train get some unforgettable meals some sushi some tempura all of the good Japanese food and this is I mean, this is an experience of a lifetime. It really is. And the ports you go to are really rare to see on cruise itineraries because, of course, you're on Azamara after all. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it really is a boutique experience, even in terms of the ports that you are going into because these, slip, uh, these ships are slightly smaller. Um, they can get into ports that the large commercial cruise ships can't necessarily get into. The other thing about Azamara is, is that they will spend longer in those ports as, as well. So you're less likely if you're going to explore a place uh, by yourself, for instance, you know, sort of keeping an eye on, on the clock of when do we need to be back at the ship because you have more leisure time as well. While you're on board the ship as well, there could be so many more people packed onto those ships, but actually they deliberately keep the passenger numbers low to keep the service high, to keep that wonderful feeling of space. And actually this cruise itinerary just goes perfectly with the cruise line as well. The two will work so beautifully together. Notice how many gardens, temples and places to go and visit there are here at the most magical time of the year to see Japan as well, following the cherry blossom season, which I think is incredible. So this is for March of next year, which is going to be absolutely amazing for you. This trip will be one never to forget, and it includes the flight from Sydney to Osaka, two nights in a hotel there before 14 days of ultra inclusive Azamara cruising, exploring Japan in style and in detail as well, including special events on board, select drinks, port shuttles, more time in the ports, and the most amazing enrichment while you're there on board as well. Re remember you end in Tokyo with an overnight on board and then a further two nights in a hotel there to really enjoy your wonderful immersive trip to Japan and of course your flight back from Tokyo to Sydney. Now low deposits today available on this of just $600 per person and this will be very very popular, very very popular indeed. So let's lock in this price tag right now with our deposits today of just $600 each because this will bear in mind there are less than 1,000 passengers on board this ship so this sells out very very 
quickly and eyes around the world are also booking onto this cruise as well. There are very few that have that perfect timing of being really in sync with what they call the cherry blossom forecast. They kind of have a forecast every year as to the sweet spot days that the blossoms should be there in full and raining down upon you as well. So this has been perfectly timed and perfectly priced as well. Let's have a look at upgrades while you're on board as well. So if you want to enjoy uh, an ocean view or a balcony experience with Azamara, your prices are there on screen. Don't forget you can split the pay of or the cost of the whole holiday with travel pay later which is really really useful spread the cost for anything uh, from six up to 12 monthly installments there interest free very very easy to apply as well so rather than finding all of the cost of the holiday today talk to our team about initiating travel pay later and spreading the cost of that up to your due date. Amazing. 1300 411 968. If you've got any questions or if you're ready to book, bear in mind the world's eyes are going to be on this cruise because it's the very best in cruising experiences, but also it's the time of the year to be in Japan and enjoying those incredible cherry blossom. They have full festivals to celebrate the Sakura, the cherry blossom there as well. Um, I have longed for years and years and years to take one of these trips. And actually, in terms of the itinerary, this one is one of the most intensive I think I've ever seen. This is the way to do it. It's Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. Right, well, we have another incredible adventure lined up for you. Our next trip is an all-inclusive trip as well. It's a real treat. We're drinking in ancient history and traveling in five-star relaxed luxury with celebrity cruises. Uh, the 16-night trip starts on the 18th of October, where we're flying you from Sydney to Athens in Greece. And here, you'll have a two-night hotel stay to marvel at the ancient wonders in the city. Now, this is the absolute epicenter of the ancient world. Maybe you've dreamt for years of visiting Athens. Well, your chance awaits you here. And also it beckons an incredible cruise. So, I mean, you're just gonna spend definitely an afternoon. You've got to do it in awe of the incredible Acrop Acropolis. Has to be done. And the views from the Acropolis are outstanding. Then you've got lots of amazing street food, just wandering around. Then it's time to enjoy our cruise on board the Celebrity Silhouette. Fantastic. This is going to be an epic adventure for you exploring the Mediterranean. And you have all inclusive cruising here. So, what does that mean? That means you have your drinks and your Wi Fi included, which is brilliant. So, let's think coffees, things like Americanos, cappuccinos, flat whites on a daily basis, your bottled water, your wines, your beers, your spirits, your cocktails, your blended drinks. It is all included. You don't have to think about it. You're saving yourself a ton by not having to think about that. And the Wi Fi keep up with the folks back home as well uh, definitely make them jealous uh, get some Instagram shots on there you don't have to worry about that either um, all the while enjoying one of the most beloved vessels in celebrities fleet the silhouette she's beautiful because she is uh, elegant and refined she's not one of the mega huge vessels she's a mid-size but absolutely gorgeous now up uh, thermal suites this is lovely because you're probably going to be wanting to do quite a lot of sightseeing on this trip so um uh, you know after a hard day sightseeing you are on holiday you can head to the spa for a massage maybe head into the thermal suites enjoy the sauna the salt room the crystal cave they have there as well um the steam room all of that if you're aqua class as well you can actually get it included in your cruise fare with the spa so that's an option then dining. I mean, Celebrity does it, I think, like no other cruise line. I mean, their, their food is, is just divine. It's a real boutique experience when you're cruising on Celebrity, and so is the food. You know, from the Mars Grill, where you have delicious burgers and fries, you know, made to order outside, through to enjoying cakes and a lovely coffee in Cafe El Bacchio. And then, of course, their featured dining room where you could be eating like a king or queen every single night with a three or four course meal. It's amazing. It is all there, isn't it? And look it? at what's going on there at the Martini Bar there. Love it. Ice topped bar. You've got the amazing bartenders who are mixing fresh, all of those mixing and shaking and pouring, uh, all of those amazing fresh cocktails, real imagination there, um, you know, full, full menu 
of cocktails for you. Uh, and just look at all the different places that you can be as well. All of these wonderful lounges and bars. Please and are. you can be dancing until the early hours if you want to. Yes. Um, these ships are absolutely beautiful. When we talk about luxury, by the way, this is very comfortable luxury. This is very relaxed luxury. This is re luxury to just, like a hot bath, just step into. Oh, I love that. And just... Mm, soak it all up and just enjoy it and just love it and marvel at the quality of the cruise that you are enjoying and of course with drinks included and wi-fi it's the perfect combination isn't it yes we are cruising out of Piraeus and we're heading into Santorini first uh, which is an incredible caldera actually it's built on a caldera which is an ancient crater of a volcano and you'll see this beautiful city tira the old town which is the, the iconic white washed walls then we're on into Rhodes, a cradle of ancient civilization including the acropolis of lindos you have both the mediterranean um, medieval city and the roman city right there to explore so you'll be awash with history in this port we're next into kusadasi which is the port for ephesus which was one of the most important Roman cities thousands of years ago. Uh, you have got the incredible Temple of Artemis here to enjoy. Um, there's lots of little kitty cats wandering around Ephesus as well. Then it's Mykonos, Greece. You might want to take a day to chill and just go boutique shopping. Uh, there's some charming boutiques in the old town. There's a beautiful wind windmill and church to take pictures of as well, um, or maybe just relax on the beach. Next, it's Messina in Sicily. Just a jaw-droppingly beautiful Sicilian uh, city, absolutely. Grab a cannoli and a cappuccino and stroll around the piazzas that will invite you into this magical city. Then it's Naples, more incredible ancient civilization here. You've got, um, of course, Pompeii, which almost needs no introduction. You've got Capri, not too far away on a hovercraft, or you can head over to Sorrento, which is charming and relaxing. Then it's Palma de Mallorca. Uh, I mean, again, I'd highly recommend just chilling at the beach today if you've been doing a lot of exploring. Uh, but there is some great shopping down in the old town and also a beautiful cathedral to visit as well. But definitely much more a relaxed port of call. We're going to disembark in Barcelona and we have two fabulous nights to enjoy. The Catalonian City of Culture incredible this city is next level if you've never visited barcelona guys you're just going to be in all around every corner from the architecture to the dining to the beautiful blue skies that beckon you in this part of spain and the stunning beaches it really has something to offer for everybody it truly does biking along barcelona to seafront perhaps maybe you'll take a segue to head up into magical parque guel which is almost like uh, heading up onto a cloud and seeing these beautiful tiny and mosaic uh, benches and artwork everywhere you look utterly outstanding and then it's time to fly home and we've got of course flights included back to Sydney Australia um, here's an overview of this spectacular itinerary tell you what not long to wait either because it's later this year October this year to take this wonderful opportunity and I tell you what you will have drunk in so much culture by the time you come back from this holiday as well. It's a wonderful chance to go and see the world. And you know what? You have got this available for you right now. In your Dream Away package is your flight from Sydney over to Athens. You've got two nights in a hotel there, and then it's five-star luxury all the way on your 10-night cruise on the Celebrity Silhouette with your classic drinks package included and your Wi-Fi around the Med and all of its incredible destinations. You end the cruise in Barcelona, but you stay there for two nights in a hotel before the included flight back to Sydney. Let's have a look at your amazing price tag. And this is five star all the way, but this is not a five star price tag. Look at that. I know, right? It's an amazing opportunity and you can take up this offer right now as well. And we also have a special offer if you would like to enjoy a celebrity balcony stateroom on this trip as well. Just pay the Ocean View upgrade price of an extra $150 and we'll upgrade you again for free to the balcony. I'm just going to make the door, the door sound of the balcony. You open the doors to the fresh air 
You open the doors to the sound and the sight of the ocean. You open the doors to enjoy a late breakfast out on your balcony, delivered room service from Celebrity. It's an amazing experience and I highly recommend it. And actually, given the price of the overall package, an extra $150 to guarantee not only a larger stateroom, but a balcony there as well, I would say is absolutely a given. But you decide, call our team right now, toll free 1300 411 968. Remember, of course, you can spread the cost with Travel Pay later as well. Talk to our team about that. Right, our final journey then in this show takes us to a very, very different trip around our own shores. Now, the cruise line this time is Seabourn, who pride themselves on their pursuit ship to give you the feeling more of an expedition. Mm. Now, this is cruising with like-minded people who want to enjoy the very best of everything in comfort and style on board, while really getting to know the destinations. Now, this is 14 nights, and it starts on the 24th of June, where we're going to fly you from Sydney straight up to Kimberley into Broome, and we're going to spend the first two nights there in a hotel before we actually cruise. So we're... A beautiful place, Kimberley, as well, isn't it? Beautiful area. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, th th it's amazing how many Aussies haven't ventured over, if you're from the East Coast, over to this part of the country. Um, I hadn't until quite recently. It is absolutely gorgeous. You know, the, tr the climate, the food, everything about it is magical. Then it's time to board the incredible Seabourn Pursuit for 10 nights. Now this is a different league. Just think of Seabourn more as a large yacht than a cruise line, because it really is. Everything from the fact that they have a marina that opens up at the back of the ship with their own zodiacs, this is how serious they are about ex expeditions. And you'll be because, seeing them plenty through this cruise yes, as well, because a will. lot of the places are so, so tiny that you'll be tendering. Now, normally you'd be tendering in big groups in, in the lifeboats, wouldn't you, on a traditional cruise? Yes. But you'll be going backwards and forwards on the Zodiacs. This yeah. is going to feel super, super like, It literally. feels like a yacht. It does. It yeah. really does. Having voyaged on board Seymour, I have to say, guys, it is you are just treated to the absolute every inch of luxury imaginable. You really feel like you're absolutely spoiled. So you have all sea view accommodation, which has your own sofa, dining table, you have your own personal concierge that attends to you in your suite as well. You have a veranda, which is beautiful. Molten brown uh, products in the bathroom as well. Sunken tubs, beautiful personal, uh, you know, host, like I mentioned, walk-in wardrobes. All restaurants on board, so all of your dining. So every restaurant is included. Fine wines are included, premium spirits, welcome champagne, mini bar. This is fully stocked throughout your voyage and it's all included as well. Uh, service charges, gratuities, all on board events and entertainment, all of your you know, movies under the stars, evening under the stars, all of this is included as well. Um, it is, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. The level of luxury, the quality of cuisine, the decadence is superb and honestly, I could not recommend Seabourn more. There's no experience like it. And since you're going to be on an expedition, you have select excursions included as well. And of course, all of your talks, talking about the destinations. Again, they bring world-renowned specialists on board to talk about the destination as well. That's included too. Here's a flavor of what you're going to see. Of course, you're heading into the Kimberley, one of the world's last wild frontiers, containing everything from rugged mountain peaks to wide stretching savannah plains and everything in between. I mean, this is a region that is characterized by wet and dry seasons on monsoon as well. So you've got natural phenomena like nowhere else on, on earth. This is on our doorstep. This is the magic of it. Um, horizontal waterfalls, pockets of rainforest, pools of fresh water, chasms, canyons, carved into vibrant red rock. It is unbelievable. And there's so much more to be discovered as well whilst you're on board this expedition. Uh, some of the places you're going to be heading to, you've got uh, Lesapide Island, Talbot Bay, Montgomery Reef, Freshwater Cove, um, Curie Bay. Some of the most, um, you know, unique ports of call 
that no other Australians have ventured to. It's very, very difficult to actually get into these ports as well, which is why they can only be reached by expedition ship. And we are actually getting to enjoy, you know, our indigenous culture in, in the best way possible doing a voyage like this. And again, meeting, of course, a lot of the local people that live in these ports of call too, which is part of the experience. Now, we're going to be disembarking in Darwin. We have a two-night hotel stay, and you can enjoy everything that Darwin has to offer, of course, as well, and just relax. Uh, lovely hotel is included in your um, in your package so some of the things to see here you're not far from Catherine Gorge which of course is incredible and the natural springs that accompany it there and the bats as well um, I've been down there and camped there it's pretty amazing then we're going to be flying you back into Sydney and this is one magical adventure but it's right in your doorstep as well oh yeah this is something very very different that's very close to home as well so you fly up to Broome from Sydney for a two-night hotel stay there your 10-night expedition cruise on Seabourn Pursuit with your balcony, sea view living, all of your drinks and meals, service charges, events and entertainment on board and you explore the Kimberley coast like never before. You end in Darwin and stay there for two nights in a hotel before the flight back to Sydney. Deposit today of just $1,500 per person and we are locking in one of the most incredible prices because this is an experience like never before. This is an experience only the few ever get to enjoy. Now you are there in wonderful surroundings, being personally attended to as well, like never before. And the facilities on board the pursuit and the adventures that you are going to have, we just saw a flavor of it there um, in the film. It is incredible. I mean, absolutely amazing. I would speak to our team if you have any more questions on this one, because we can't ever, in the short time we have to go through these offers, answer every single question. So talk to our team right now on 1300 411 968 and ask any questions that you need to, because this is an opportunity not to miss. This is absolutely cruising with the few. Let's just remind you uh, of the details here as well and what's included. Ultra luxury doesn't even begin to say it, but you have got those two stays as well. Remember, a couple of nights up in Broome and then a couple of nights in Darwin. This is based on flights to and from Sydney. You want flights from elsewhere. Again, just talk to the team on 1300 411 968. And of course, remember, you can spread the cost of your trip with travel pay later as well. Very, very easy to apply. Just talk to our team on 1300 411 968 and you can split the cost of your holiday uh, by several payments there as well, which is brilliant. And that uh, applies also to all of our offers, to be honest with you. So uh, when you have a look on the website, if you've got something that is you know, a fair way away, maybe it's a holiday for next year or indeed the year after as well. It's really, really useful because it helps with the budgeting no end. Now, just a quick reminder before we go, we are here three times a day at 10 o'clock in the morning, one and four in the afternoon, right here on Gecko on Channel 17. So we've always got lots of ideas, Joe, haven't we? Oh, we've got plenty of ideas for you. The important thing is you take action and start booking those now. Get Absolutely. those prices locked in. See you back here very soon. Take care, enjoy your day. Bye.